In today's Gospel reading, Jesus said the following, and I quote, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid, nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven." End of quote. Our life, our essence, our very being is continually radiating light or darkness. And this ripple of light or darkness influences others either in a positive way or in a negative way. Every person, every individual has some influence in the world, in you. No one is without influence. Everything we do or say has a ripple, rippling effect. It either leads or misleads. It either advances God's kingdom or it hinders it. St. John Chrysostom said, there would be no need for sermons if our lives reflected Christ. There would be no need for words if we bore witness with our deeds. There would be no pagans if we were true loving Christians. God made us in his image and likeness so that we may have the potential and the capacity to reveal God to others. At our baptism, we receive the light of God and are called to reflect that light in is not so that the world may see our good works and give us praise, but it is, to, it is for us and to others to see and know God through our good works. This is why Christ said, Let all of our good works are not to give us glory, but to give glory to God. Jesus tells us not to hide our light. Matthew, quoting Isaiah, said about Jesus, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sit with us, saying, once you were darkness, but now you are the light of the Lord. Walk as children of the light and try to learn what is pleasing to our Lord. One of the prerequisites for letting the light of Jesus shine through us is to eliminate any existing darkness with reality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, strife, jealousy, anger, selfishness, dissension, party spirit, envy, murder, drunkenness, riotous behavior, and the like. Our task, as St. Paul tells us, is to cast off the works of darkness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If there is darkness in us, we need to eliminate it. Only a clean out constantly for God's forgiveness to remove the darkness of sin from our lives. In addition to removing the darkness of sin from our life through periodic repentance and confession, the second prerequisite for letting the light of Christ shine through us is to cultivate the presence of Christ in our daily living. And after that, the heavenly kingdom of God. My dear brothers, sisters, visitors, and friends, it is the presence of Jesus Christ in us that generates light, illuminating the world with the sun of righteousness for everyone to see. We must constantly seek out our Lord's presence in prayer and with frequent participation in the sacramental life of our church. Only in this way, we will truly reflect Christ, the light of righteousness. Through our good example, through our loving demeanor and presence, and through our good works. Blessed be the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.